Welcome to the Weekly Homicide Report, the weekly program where we talk about all the people that needlessly died at the hands of another person. So far, 16 weeks into 2022, there have been approximately 7,081 murders in America, which is an average of 64 a day. So let's take a look at this week's graph. Chicago had eight homicides this week and continues to lead with 158 murders. Philadelphia had 13 homicides last week, moving up to 145. They had slowed down in Philly for a few weeks, and I thought maybe they had caught a couple of the people who were doing the majority of the murders, but the numbers are back up this week, so unless some DA let the guy out that maybe made the lull in murders for a few weeks back onto the streets, uh, that thought was just wishful thinking. Baltimore passed the 100 mark on April 18th with the death of Ursula Brown, a 61-year-old woman. St. Louis added 10 homicides and is closing in on the 100 mark. And St. Louis is relatively small for a big city with a population just over 300,000. Milwaukee had three murders last week and sits at 62, which is 24 more than they had this time last year. And Milwaukee posts their stats, so you can see 35% are 18 to 29, 90% are shootings, 89% black, 79% male, and 39% have led to an arrest. There have been 147 mass shootings this year, 14 from last week alone, as well as six mass murders, one of which happened April 20th in Duluth, Minnesota, where five people were found dead, as well as a dog, in what was believed to be a murder-suicide. Uh, there were two young girls and an adult female and two adult males that were the victims. On to children killed by guns under the age of 11. 93 have been murdered this year, up 7 from last week, and 208 shot, up 11 from last week. And kids 12 to 17, 380 have been killed, 29 from last week alone, and 950 more injured. 83 injured just from last week. On to the murder-suicides. Now, these are just the ones done with a gun, which the majority are committed with a gun. And so far in week 16, we're at 196 for the year, and that's an increase of 12 from last week. And we're currently averaging 1.7 murder-suicides per day. Well, that's all I have for you today, but I'll be back next week with week 17 numbers. Until then, have a great week, and I'll catch you next week. Support this channel and pick yourself up some original crime-related apparel. Look for the link in the description.